with the five o'clock news. Ending this news hour, a heart scare in Atlanta for our Olympic legend. Rescue drama for three yachtsmen, their boat splintered on... In other news tonight, three yachtsmen have told of their overnight ordeal after their yacht sank near Wilson's Promontory. They were on a voyage from Tasmania when their boat struck a rock just east of Cape Lip Trap. The three spent the night in a tiny life raft before being winched to safety by an Air Force helicopter. After eight hours in a tiny survival raft, it was sheer relief for the three men plucked from Bass Strait by a RAF rescue helicopter. Good on you. Yeah, no problem. Thank well, you very much indeed. Yeah. I've been taking the job, Paul. What happened to you, that? It was a miraculous escape. The only injury suffered was a suspected broken wrist by one of the crew as the yacht broke up. We should have a life, I thought. Oh, it's great. I'll fight your arm. That's good. Okay. Paramedics say wet weather gear and warm clothing prevented hypothermia from setting in. Did you have to bend in the ship or? Yeah, she yeah. went down about two minutes. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Keel just... comes straight up to the bottom of the boat. The 12 metre sloop was battling 35 knot winds and heavy seas when it struck a large rock which punched the keel through the vessel's hull. A Gippsland local called police when he found the wreck washed up on rocks about 8.30 last night. There was flares going up from down towards the bottom of Wilson's Prom, so we tried to let the water police know what direction they were coming from, how regularly they were coming up and how long they were staying up for. Within an hour of rescue crews locating the stranded trio, it soon became apparent a more sophisticated helicopter was required to winch the sailors to safety. When you start winching at night and there's no horizon and no um, moonlight, it's easy enough to crash the aircraft into the water. The yachtsmen, two from Victoria and one from New South Wales, were sailing the diamond cutter from Launceston to Queenscliff, where the boat was to be delivered to its owner. The 61-year-old skipper was considered an experienced yachtsman. Their rescuers say an emergency beacon picked up by satellites probably saved the men's lives. I think this is the youngest survivor. I think it was his first boat trip, as far as I know. And um, I purposely gave him the, the, the EPIRB and said, this is your trophy. You better put it up on the wall. It's worth every cent. Peter Morris, 10 News. A yacht being delivered to its new owner in Geelong tonight lies in ruins near Wilson's Promontory. Dean Allen Craig reports three men were winched to safety after the yacht smashed onto rocks. A 36-foot yacht on its way from Launceston to Queenscliff hit rocks near Cape Lip Trap around 7.30 last night. The impact forced the keel through the hull. The three men on board immediately launched a life raft. An air ambulance found the life raft more than three hours later. Clinging to the end of a winch line, paramedic Terry Ho says he was repeatedly swamped by waves as he rescued the trio. Like one minute I might be swimming in the water, next thing I know I find myself being uh, uh, airborne again. The yacht struck a rock platform not far from the shore, but by the time the trio were plucked from their life raft, they drifted 10 miles out into Bass Strait. The men were rescued uninjured. Dean Allen Craig, 7, Nightly News. Ken Long Dream was shattered when a yacht ran aground off Wilson's Promontory overnight. As Karen Huff reports, only quick thinking by the three men on board saved their lives. The crew had battled Bass Strait and was on the last leg of a trip from Launceston to deliver the diamond cutter to Queenscliff. Rough seas forced them to seek shelter in Waratah Bay around 8.30, but it wasn't the haven they'd hoped for. The boat was battered against rocks. The crew abandoned it as the hull swallowed water quickly. The men aged 61, 42 and 22 jumped into a lifeboat with a canopy and activated a beacon. Its signal was read by a satellite in Canberra. A helicopter lowered a paramedic to the men around 3 a.m. after they'd spent over six hours on the water. The men from Melbourne and New South Wales were taken to hospital with hypothermia and released this morning. Their case is an advertisement for safety equipment. I think this is the youngest survivor. I think it was his first boat trip, as far as I know. And um, I purposely gave him the, the, the EPIRB and said, this is your trophy. You better put it up on the wall. It's worth every cent. Meanwhile, at Geelong, the owners of the boat were devastated that one of their dreams had been destroyed. When you see it broken up, it's naturally um, very upsetting. Karen Huff, National 9 News.